Hey Garage Squad, my name is Wade Ripple and I'm from Decatur, Illinois and I am the third owner of this 1964 Dodge Dart 270 four speed. Uh, my grandfather started restoring it in 2008, 2009 and he took it all the way down. It was in pretty rough shape. Um, and he came down with liver cancer in 2011 and shortly passed soon after and was unable to finish it. So it went to my father who inherited it probably in 2012. Um, and it's just been sitting in his garage for the past nine years and life's gotten in the way and house projects and running a business and whatnot. Just, he's not really had much free time to get working on it. Um, and then in the November of this year on the 22nd, uh, him and I painted a 1965 Dodge A100 van and uh, we swapped that paint job for this motor crankshaft and this automatic transmission that he was wanting to put in it, which I'm not sure why, because it's an original four speed car and manuals are more fun. Um, so I intend to put the four speed in it, which is right here. And I think I have all the parts for it. Um, I'm actually like a fourth generation body man. My great grandpa was a body man. Um, my grandpa who owned this car originally and his brother started a body shop in our community in 1973. Um, and my dad started working there when he was 18. Uh, so I kind of just grew up in the shop uh, around cars. My dad was always selling them, um, stuff like that. Uh, so let's see, back to the van. Um, so we painted that on November 22nd, the Saturday before Thanksgiving. And it was just like the perfect day. Uh, I actually worked at the shop for about four years along with growing up in it. And then um, about two years ago, I left to pursue a career as a graphic designer. Um, so I hadn't painted a car in like a year and a half, almost two years. And he randomly hit me up in the early November and asked if he wanted, uh, if I wanted to help him paint this van. And I'm like six foot five, so I'm pretty tall and he needed my help, um, you know, getting the roof and it was a two man job. Uh, also, this is my son, Lincoln. Say hi, Lincoln. Gonna smile. Um, so anyway, we had like the most perfect day. Uh, paint job went flawless. Um, when we were done, he actually said my side turned out slicker than his, which is a massive compliment from a man of his, uh, skill level. Um, he's been painting for like 30 years, so. He knows what a good paint job looks like. Um, so yeah, just had a perfect day. Uh, and then on Thanksgiving evening, he was involved, him and my stepmother were involved in an automobile accident where they were hit head on by a drunk driver. Um, and my dad did not make it. Um, so yeah, that's been pretty rough and still doesn't seem quite real. Um, but anyway, I've managed to pull this car out and gather all the parts that were down at his house and some parts that were at the shop and we've got like three blocks and I really don't know. I know how to make cars look good. I know how to do all the paint and all the body work and put it together, but I do not know how to make them run. Um, and I know this is kind of an odd year car because I didn't make a lot of uh, 273s with the four speed and whatnot. Um, and from my knowledge, there's only one motor that can bolt up to this four speed because uh, it's a unique transmission. But anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of my story. Oh, quick thing. This is actually my grandfather's handprint that my dad had never wiped off from the dust that it had collected over the years. And I'd recently wiped the car down and got it all shiny again because it had a decade worth of dust on it. Um, but I left that handprint and then there's actually my dad's handprint on the glass of the passenger door right here. Uh, so I just haven't been able to bring myself to wipe those off but it's just kind of cool that both of them have worked on this car both of them have put in a lot of blood sweat and tears and it's just kind of like they left their mark and passed it off to me and i intend to pass it off to lincoln once i'm old say hi lincoln you gonna smile so yeah um this is also the shop that it's in uh, this was a pole barn my dad had built in, I think, 2004, where he worked on side projects and um, friends' cars.
cars and stuff. So growing up, I was out here every night that he was out here and on the weekends and I didn't, I was helping quote unquote, but I usually just sat out here on his creeper and watched TV and movies. Um, but yeah, I just can't think of a better way or a better spot to uh, finish this car. And I also received his toolbox and his auto body tools. Um, the Snap-on man that uh, deals at our shop uh, generously dropped these off for me with his truck. So yeah, it's just all these things are just the perfect spot, perfect tools, perfect everything to finish it up and it just needs done. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to maybe come by and check it out and help out, that would be great. I think what you guys are doing is awesome and um, I hope to hear from you. Thank you.